Thanks for helping me with, out with all this. Nick, you and your grandfather were close, and I know you're going through a hard time right now, so I'm happy to help, buddy. Thanks, man. You start here, I suppose, and uh, I'll start here. Gotcha. Oh, man, check this out. Oh, my granddad's old violin. <laughs> you used to play? Yeah, I used to play as I was a kid, I remember. Was it good? <laughs> oh, no, it was horrible, but as a kid, I didn't really know the difference. Nick, you didn't tell me your grandpa had style. Wait until you see his old high school photos. <laughs> They're in uh, that box over there if you want to give him a look-see. This one? Yeah. Hey, Nick. Who's this? Oh, no. That was my grandfather holding me as a child. Man, I thought we lost it. Takes you down memory lane. <clears throat> Glad I wasn't that nerdy in high school. Fresh check. Of course you'd think so. <laughs> Here. Hey, check this out. What is it? Some weird scrapbook thing. I know that. Kind of Dude, your grandpa was involved with some Freemason occult Charles Manson type business. Oh, man. Newspaper article. Wonder what it says. Wanna find out? I think I know where we can. We keep all of our old newspaper on microfilm. You can view it using these machines. If you need any help at all, just let me know. Thank you. Well, well let's get cracking, shall we? All right. Hey, hey, wake up. Wake up, Ben. Wake up. What? It's the article, look. What does it say? It seems he was part of some uh, secret society called the Order of the Silver Phoenix. Uh, doesn't really say much about them except that they wanted to change the world somehow and they made some breakthroughs in the paranormal. So your granddad was part of some cult? Yeah, pretty much. We need to make a copy of this. Sorry? The film you were looking at. It's missing. If you don't return it, I'm going to call the police. Uh, we didn't take anything. Yeah, then who did? Well, okay, that's a long story. 
I'm listening. Okay, but uh, we should probably sit down first. So what you're telling me is your grandfather is a part of some secret society that performs occult rituals. And last night, one of the cultists broke into my archives and stole the microfilm that proves that they exist? That's exactly what we're telling you. And I should believe all of this because... We may have proof. You see, I was looking through my grandfather's old stuff and I found this. Unfortunately, I have no way of playing it. But if you help us, we might just be able to find your missing microfilm. All right. I'll help you. But I don't believe in the occult. It's good enough for us. Please don't touch anything. You're not supposed to be in here, and I'm not willing to lose my job over this. Nice job. First attempt of reading from the book. Is that my grandfather's voice? I think I think I remember that place. He used to bring me there as a kid. Who? My grandfather. Do you remember how to get there? Uh I think so. My grandpa used to come here a lot. I just assumed he was meeting with friends. Who knew it was actually a cult? We don't know for certain it's a cult. High society people have clubs, right? I don't know. It, um, it looks pretty culty to me. Yeah, but you also think a hot dog's a sandwich. It is. Okay, no, you need the t breads and the, the toppings inside of it. You need them like this. A hot dog has a huge opening in the middle of it. So you're saying hot dogs don't have toppings though? Yeah, hot dogs have toppings, but they're still not a sandwich. A bun is wheat. Bread is wheat. Hot dogs are meat, and sandwiches meat are meat. Yeah, but how they collide isn't proper for a sandwich format. On top there's a bun, and on the bottom there's a bun. Therefore, making it hey a guys, sandwich. Hey guys, quit fighting and come over here! It seems that they were studying this book. Hmm. And it seems that this book could be used for summoning entities from another reality. Uh, guys? <laughs> you might want to look at this. It's a square. Yeah, but it's a hidden square, so it might mean something. Huh. So it is a cult. Guess so. What do you suppose it says? It looks like Latin. For? It says... Him of the eighth decade, whose sword sundered all foes. What was his cry? It could be a king. Uh, was there uh, was there any ruler who lived for like eight decades and was active and like had a, a trademark battle cry? Like maybe he went out in the battle and he's like, march, or something. I think the sword is metaphorical. For what? By the power of Grayskull. What? The 80s were the 8th decade, so I thought he meant he meant to STOP! Sir, Steve! Oh 
my gosh, I was so worried. Everything's all right. It'll be okay. They killed him. He was my best friend and they killed him all for some stupid book. I'm gonna find who did this to them. I'm gonna figure out who did this and I will make them pay. I think you should get some rest. Never been more sure of anything in my life. Now where's the book? I hid it somewhere safe in case they came here. But you really should get some rest. No, let's get it. I guess so. Wake up. How long is it out for? A few hours, but look at this. The book is called The Tome in Tropus. Apparently they're using this to summon a demon called the Panera. It's an all-powerful creature that apparently can consume the world. Why would they want to do that? By summoning the creature, they technically would have unlimited power. They did say they wanted to change the world, but they didn't say how. What stopped them? I don't know what stopped them. They just sort of disappeared. By the looks of it, it seems that they may have been over their heads. But what I do know is there are several places where it could have occurred. Summoning could take place down here, over here, or up here. He's there. That's where we'll find the guy who attacked us. I'm sure of it. How do you know? I don't know, I just... I just do. If you're right, we could be walking right into a trap and giving them exactly what they want. The book. Well, that may be, but it's still something I have to do. You don't have to go if you don't want, but I'd appreciate it if you did. Well, I can't let you go alone. Now, I think I have a plan. I didn't even think you would come. Trying to be the silent type. You don't fool me. I know you're better than that. Grandpa? But you died! Nick, my boy, death is only a temporary thing. Join me, Nick, and I'll show you things you've never seen before. You killed my friend! Did I? Like I said, Nick, death is only a temporary thing. Why? Why does anyone do anything? Power. The power the great old ones. I will be able to contain the power, bend reality to my will. They told me I was a fool, and they hid the book from me. But I pressed on. But now that you found it, I can finally make my own reality. I'll never join you, old man. Are you sure? Positive. 
so be it. Sorry, my boy. It was necessary. Now. What? This book is a fake! So...